Okay, got a got a little project here. Uh, got to make a center hub for a for a tape machine. Uh, so I, I figured I'd show you this one start to finish. We show you a little picture of the design and whatnot. This, this is a tape machine. Uh, I guess it guess it came without a center in it, and there was some trouble finding one. So uh, I'm gonna make one. Okay, here's the uh, CAD CAD program I use it's called ProjCAD. Uh, bought this here four years ago. It emulates uh, AutoCAD 14 pretty much. But uh, yeah, let me turn a few of these layers on for you. Oh, let's, let's, let's make that so we can see it. the actual center of the hub. Kind of a wheel to keep the hub centered up. Outermost radiuses. Big circle. The big circle. Okay. It's looking at it from the side. You want to make sure everything looks like it's in the right spot. And it does. So now let's make it all one piece. Yeah, it looks like it might get the job done. Okay, what, what, what I did back there was uh, basically just draw a picture, a little more than a picture, call it a model of what I wanted. That program there uh, does not tell the printer head where to move to. All that does is make a, a drawing of it, if you will, a model of it. Then this program here is the one that actually tell, takes that model and tells the printer head where to go, point A to point B how much plastic to extrude, how fast to extrude it, uh, all that. So, so we'll get that pulled up on here. We gotta get rid of these ones. We're gonna need some support, because as you can see, we're not, we're not touching in a lot of places, but that's no problem. Let's go over here and turn on some support. And this, this poor little computer is slow, but man, is it a workhorse. I'm going to 
make sure my support line distances aren't too far apart. I don't like it quite that far, but we're going to run it. It'll be all right. I've seen this thing try to process these here in a minute. We're going to, we're going to do the actual slicing, they call it. That looks good. Okay. So, so this is what actually generates the code or, or the line-to-line -line movement, this slice right here. So we're going to slice this and it's going to run through this. I have had this poor little laptop sit here for over an hour, over an hour and a half, two hours processing this information. And, and man, she don't cough or hiccup. It just works right through it. Okay, so this print is going to take two hours and ten minutes. Uh, it's going to use almost eight meters of filament. You can uh, actually preview this. Get poor little computer working here. Here you can see where it's putting in all the, the support. Uh, we can we can walk down through this. And there you can see it building the support to do what it needs to do. Okay. Now we got to get that information over to the printer. We do that with a micro SD card. A lot of people like to hook their printers up to their computer. I don't. If my computer crashes, my print crashes. And I might want to use my computer for other stuff. I will go with that. Make sure we're saving it to the micro, and we are. Okay, we're ready to get over there and start this print. Okay, we're over here at the printer now. Printer 2A as I like to call it. One thing I've learned about these A-nets, and, and I just recently learned this, and man did I battle this for a long time. Uh, put your SD card in there and then turn it on. If you want to change SD cards, shut that dude down while you're changing them cards. Okay, we're powered up. Let me see if we get a little better shot of that screen. Okay, we'll get in here. Uh, for some reason, you gotta double pump that. We're gonna print from the SD card. We want the tape gun. And the bed is heating. Okay. There's a bed, and, and it's going to take a minute or two to heat up, so while that's heating up, I'm going to get this camera off the tripod and try to look underneath it when it first starts printing. Okay, bed's up to temperature there, 47 degrees Celsius. We're getting ready to extrude her in, just, just hit temperature. She's going to go a little over. It'll bounce a little over and then come back now. There we go. Things are happening. She's zeroing out right now, picking up where the corner is and all that. Oh, let's reach up there and touch that. I want to do that. So right there is our zero zero, zero zero zero, X, Y, and Z. The plastic hanging off the thing there. Good to knock that off there. There we go. Okay. Coming in for a final set and off we go. Uh, with a little bit of luck, she'll start printing. Uh, we got a mess there. Can't quite tell if she's feeding up or not. There we go, yeah, I see some filament flowing now. Really need to get that. Yeah, that is knocked off there. But, uh, okay, there she goes. Uh, I'll take some intermittent pictures of it as she's building. And off we go. Well, we started out in red, and, and with that red table, you just you really couldn't see it very good. So I took the liberty of, of cutting the red and uh, putting a little white in there, something we can actually see. I, I don't think color's going to mean a whole lot from, from what we're doing here. 
But uh, there you can see it's starting to print the webbing the, where it wasn't going to touch the plate and, and needed some support. And right there's your center circle. So we'll just keep coming on here and now and again turning the old camera on and seeing where we're at. Okay, we're a little over a quarter of the way done. So it's starting to make a bigger part of the center hub. Starting to lay the uh, edge of the lobes there uh, down on top of the sports. Alright, we're at a couple millimeters, that's the halfway point. So, you can see we got a. It's about half of the lobe is printed. They're five millimeters there, they're ten millimeters thick. So, so we're still cruising right along. Ah, one, one mistake I did realize I made during this whole little operation is uh, my printers, once you run them into the slicer program, the Kira program, you have to make the, the model a little bit bigger, 1.6. So I don't print it 100%, I print it 101.6% to have things come out on size. Not for what this thing is, I don't think it's going to matter. Uh, if it does, I'll make another one. get back to it quite soon enough. She was stopping and heading for home position about the time I walked up. Okay, there we are. I'll break her loose and we'll take one last look at it. And This one's done. Here we are all, all broke loose. Uh, you can see where I started out with the red and switched to the white midstream there. I'm gonna, we got all this uh, support I gotta get broken off there. I'll bust that off real quick. Ran a razor blade down in between them. See if I can't get her to break right off there now. Without stabbing myself. And as they say, the proof's in the pudding. So uh, here, we, here we got the finished thing. I really didn't do much cleanup on this. I just pretty much just busted the uh, support off of it. Took a razor blade and went over the high spots. But uh, so, so here's our finished product. It fits right in here, like so. Yeah, yeah, don't look too bad. Even though I missed my... 1.6. Center it up there and there, drop her down in. And right here is what this is all about. Well, I think it was supposed to cut. Not gonna worry about that. Alrighty, done.